Hello everybody and how are my peeps today it is a beautiful Friday morning it's 11 o'clock which means I need to hot foot at home to do the broadcast um, I'm just at the doctors nothing serious just you know getting placement uh, medications and stuff so not sure about whether you have to do that in the States or not but my doctor will not do this over the phone. You have to physically go and see him. And uh, of course, at my age, he takes my blood pressure every time. <laughs> and he always laughs because, you know, the first thing I do is walk in with drinking my latte. And he always thinks that's so intelligent when you're about to have, you know, your blood pressure taken. But hey, even with a latte, I'm 130 over 60, so that's pretty darn good at my age. So whatever the pills are he's giving me are working really well <laughs> so I'm on my way straight home because otherwise I won't have time to be ready for the broadcast and I'll pick up the uh, medications tomorrow we have a long weekend here in Canada it's called our family day weekend it's a new weekend for us a new um, stat holiday uh, we only started it last year, so we're not quite used to it yet, but we really did have too long a gap between Christmas and <laughs> the next statutory holiday. So they decided to give us an extra one, which works really well for when you're a staff member, but doesn't work so well. <laughs> I just saw something that amused me. Okay, I'll get back to that. Um, it doesn't work so well if you're a business owner because it means you're paying for an extra day when nobody does any work. And the thing that I saw that made me laugh was there was a topiary, you know, when they cut trees and make them look pretty. And it was sort of like two, two rounds. And then out of the top it had like the three fleur-de-lis, um, the three sticky uppy bits and I've never seen that done on a topiary before it really looked very cute enough to make me chuckle and you know I like to chuckle so I've got a busy day I've done the first thing I'm going back for a broadcast then at four o'clock I've got a client coming I'm helping them prepare for some medical university medical uh, entrance exam the uh, interview portion so I'll do that for a couple of hours from four to six and then I have a little bit of time to make myself something to eat and then I uh, do another broadcast. So it's a very busy day, but that's what keeps me young, right? We've had a lot of fun with um, the, really, I wanted to thank everybody who was kind enough to write to me that, and let me know I wasn't the only bozo, that I wasn't the only one that didn't know what the baby on board stickers were for. And um, I felt so much better when uh, that many of you wrote to let me know, hello, uh, I didn't know either. So I certainly felt, wow, I am so glad I asked the question. And by the way, whoever it was that wrote, Teresa, I think, I still you know, haven't been able to, to literally, I don't know why, it didn't let me thank you in any way whatsoever. I tried everything I could think of. And, you know, there are times when Google and YouTube just totally confuse me. And this was one of those times. But anyway, Teresa, I think it was Teresa. Thank you so much for giving us that information. We are all educated that much better. And it's amazing how many people I've spoken to, even in my real life, as opposed to my <laughs> online life, on my you know, my day-to-day -day life here. Um, the, the number of people I've spoken to, they also didn't know. So um, you have educated a lot of us. Ooh, it's an eagle up in the tree. So a very pretty day, minus two, which is a uh, lot better than it was, 28 in America. It was minus six when I came to the doctor uh, a couple of hours ago. 
um, so or an hour, at least an hour and a half ago. So that's warmed up quite significantly. Sunshine, as you can probably see, I'm pretty sure my glasses are turning to sunglasses. I've got transition glasses, so I don't have to worry about sunglasses. They automatically turn into sunglasses. And it's really going to be a beautiful weekend. I did hear talk of snow. Uh, I haven't listened to the weather forecast, but I'm sure that I will hear more about that. By the way, I just timed it beautifully. I was really concerned because I was watching the opening ceremonies of the Olympics uh, today uh, before I got in the car to go to the doctors. I got to the doctors and saw part of the ceremony and then I was, was quite convinced that they would do the lighting of the cauldron while I was in seeing the doctor. And luckily for me, just as I came out, they started the process of in introducing the runners and then uh, going to light the cauldron. So I got to see that as well. So that was great. There is part of me for the first time ever, and I don't know why. I, it's never been a big issue for me before. I, I mean, I've thought about it, but this time you look at each country trying to outdo the one before. And you look at just how much this Olympics cost in pomp and ceremony and just to impress the world who really isn't that interested in being impressed anymore. And you go, is it time for us to stop all of this? Is it time to go back to it being an amateur sports event, which is what it used to be? Professionals were not allowed in. The hockey would be very different, we know that. But it used to be an event in which you know, only amateurs went in. Now, part of the reason that they shifted it, I believe, um, was because certain countries, including the one that's hosting now, um, used to put all their Olympic people into the army or wherever, and then train them there. So they weren't getting paid to be athletes, they were getting paid to be in the army, unquote, if you get my drift. And that's how they ended up winning everything was because they actually were full-time athletes. So we've got to find out, with a better, find out a better answer for this. Uh, and I'm not sure what it is but hopefully we will find one. That would be really good. Because I really, there's part of me that goes, it would be really nice to go back to it being amateur sports. It would be really nice to go back and let's use the 400 billion or whatever god awful amount of money. And was it million? 400 million, was it? I got a feeling there was a B in there somewhere that's been spent on this Russian Olympics and go, gosh, how many people could that have fed? How many people's lives could have been improved? And maybe that is, that is the, uh, that is the difference. Maybe, I understand you need, you need the auditoriums, you need the stadiums, you need all those things to be able to produce these events. That costs money. But you know, just the opening and closing ceremonies, how much money gets spent on that? I don't know. I don't have the answer. How, what do you guys feel about it? Do you, do you feel that um, we're overdoing it now? Or do you feel that, you know, it's it's fair, you know, it's a huge honor to, ho to host the event and um, that the host nation uses it as a showcase to showcase their country. Now I know that we've been very fortunate, we've held the Olympics a number of times in Montreal, we've held it in Calgary, we've held it in Vancouver, um, 
stroke Whistler. So we've been very fortunate, and um, but we have the sort of landscape that makes us pretty good places to hold an Olympics. So I think it's really interesting to see, you know, where this is going to go. I've got a feeling this one was a little over the top. And I did burst out laughing though when there was all this precision going on and then one person got it totally wrong. <laughs> and you know, I burst out laughing and going, oh the poor so-and-so, I bet you that, that they're in big trouble. And then you wonder because of the country they're in, you know, will they get thrown in jail or into some gulag because they um, got it wrong. I've been in countries where they do things like that. And it's not as funny as it sounds, it happens. So I'm just hoping that that person is okay. I mean, I had to laugh because, you know, at the, at the Vancouver Olympic Games, you know, something went horribly wrong. As you know, during the opening ceremonies, one of the, the things that was meant to lift up one of the arms of the uh, flame didn't. And um, what I thought was so typically Canadian was yes of course it was horribly embarrassing and yes of course it was terrible for the person in charge of that event but it's I thought typical of Canada that when we did the closing event we used that oops that doofus moment as a comedy section for the closing and I think that says a lot for Canadians we do 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 some funny doofus things but boy can we laugh at ourselves as well and I think that shows a lot of character and I don't know how you guys felt about that when you watched the last Olympic Games that the fact that they um, they did that um, I'm hoping that you enjoyed it as much as we do I must admit that all the Canadians just cracked up we thought that was really clever I'm very proud of the organizers in such a short time to actually build in a comedy uh, section about that little doofus moment. So I hope that you're all having a wonderful day, afternoon, evening, whenever it is that you are watching and or listening. Uh, I'm hoping that sometime either tomorrow, Sunday or Monday, uh, to do another makeup video for you because apparently they are quite popular which is really stunning to me I'm sort of going wow who knew um, and then I've got another call to do another cooking one so I'm not quite sure what I'm going to cook this week I haven't quite thought about that yet I'm actually due to do macaroni cheese but we've copied we've, you know, we've done that video a couple of times I think so um, I'll have to find something else that's easy to do I, I really get a sense that you guys like the fact that I, <laughs> I, I'm what I call an al fresco cook. You know, I just throw it together. I'm not big into perfect recipes here. Um, now, I do understand that there are just as many who would die rather than cook like that. <laughs> but. Uh, to me, it's it's about the 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 joy of it. It it actually makes it much more enjoyable. I I grew up in a family where entertaining was huge, you know. And I'm talking five course meals in a 400 year old dining room with um, leather on the walls, you know, tooled leather as wallpaper. Uh, fireplace you could walk into it was so big. You know, I grew up in. <laughs> <laughs> the equivalent of Downton Abbey but not quite as big and so <laughs> you understand I understand about entertaining and I really don't want to go there oh there's a private dog park huh. how about that clever idea I bet you that's cheap ah, what so I'm wondering whether I've got time to actually grab some food before I start the broadcast. That would be nice. I'm hungry. So 
so I don't think I've got very much else to talk about right at the moment so we'll wait until later on in the weekend and we'll add some stuff to this this is dear mama Sal saying bye bye peeps speak to you soon bye for now